So to sum it up, strength training isn't just about lifting weights. It's the way you protect and empower and empower ourselves, okay, throughout every stage of life. It builds strong bones in our teens, boosts energy in our in our youth, sorry, young adulthood, and supports our health as we balance work and family and helps us stay mobile and independent in our later years. This is exactly why I created this group to educate women about their health, fitness, and potential breaking stereotypes that say muscle and weights are just for men. We now know that strength training isn't a luxury for women. It's essential and and essential for strong, healthy. Hey, thanks for tuning in this week's episode. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and enjoy the show. Thank you. Oh, all right, let's get into it. So, all righty. Uh, hey, ladies, I have, have you ever felt like your energy gets drained juggling everything life throws at you whether you're a teen in college or you're a teen in college building a career or raising a family strength training can be a powerful tool to keep you strong energized and healthy at every stage let's dive in how strength training benefits us uniquely at each phase of life and helps prevent issues many women face down the road okay welcome everyone i'm shane a personal trainer and nutrition coach dedicated to helping Busy women like you simplify nutrition and, and fitness so you can thrive. My mission is to break down barriers and stereotypes around women and strength training. Today, I'll share some strength training benefits for girls and women throughout life from teenage years to retirement. Okay, so like I said, it's this is going to be hit on every different kind of phase of a woman's life or a girl's woman's life. So that's why um, I just really this is I think this is one of the one of the most important streams I'm ever going to do or topics I'm going to be going to have. OK, because, of course, the stereotype is women are supposed to be lifting, so on and so forth. And that's a bunch of malarkey or a bunch of crap. All righty. So teenage years. For example, building strong bones and confidence. So starting strength training in the teen, teen years can help young girls build a solid foundation of bone density, which can prevent osteoporosis later on. Teenage years are critical for bone growth and strength training, reinforcing those bones while helping your posture, helping with, with posture. Plus, strength training empowers young women, helping them feel confident and capable in their own bodies. A huge boost during a time when self-esteem is still forming. So, so true, absolutely true. And I see it, you know, of course in high school, I see, you know, I mean, both, I mean, boys and girls, but girls have a tendency to have less confidence when it comes to the body changing and all these different kind of things happening in the teenage years, okay? So let's move on. Okay, so young adult college years, full of thing, so sorry, building energy and reducing stress. For young women in their late teens or early twenty, uh, early twenties, strength training boosts energy and pre and prevents, I'm sorry, provides a natural way to relieve stress. College and early career years can be stressful, but regular strength training can help manage that. For example, lifting weights releases endorphins, which improve mood and relieve anxiety. It's also a way to create healthy habits that can last a lifetime, okay? You're starting a new job, you just finished college, you don't know what to do. You're starting a new job, starting a new career. This is very all new to you. Well, strength training can actually help. Um, there's so many research now showing that the amount of chemicals that is released when it comes to um, working out. And I mean, people talk about running and that's fine, but there's nothing that is more beneficial than strength training, than, you know, than... You know, yeah, there's nothing else really as beneficial. It's like the 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 upsides of strength training is incredible. Okay. All right, so move on. Hold on, let's move on. So the next next period of life or the next phase, okay, will be building a career slash professional life, preventing back uh, back pain and increasing focus. As as women step into careers, often sitting at a desk or enduring long hours, strength training can prevent back pain, neck pain, and poor posture. Common issues common issues in desk jobs, okay? Strengthening the core and back muscles protects against these strains making you feel better physically and more more focused mentally. This particular this is particularly valuable for women balancing work with family responsibilities. Okay? Um it's especially now with people being home now, working from home and so on and so forth. It's a you guys um, there's a lot more sitting now, a lot more behind the desk, 
things like that. And um, the back will bother you because I think uh, I explained this before, but sitting down, having your knees like pretty much at 90 degrees or anything like that, you're actually strength, stretching, uh, sorry, contracting your, your hamstrings. And you, since you're sitting out for a long period of time, you're constantly contracting, contracting. And then eventually what happens is your lower back starts bothering you. Okay, and then everything starts to shrink down. You start to curl up like the ball. And that's when, start, that's when problems and pains and strains start to happen. Okay, so move on now. We talk about marriage, motherhood. Okay, so we're talking about now more functional strength for daily life and reducing injury risk. Okay, so during motherhood, strength training becomes incredibly functional. Lifting kids, carrying groceries, and juggling a busy schedule all require strength and endurance. Training the body can help prevent injuries that w- that come with these d- everyday tasks. Uh, strong muscles means less likely to strain yourself, okay? And whether lifting a toddler or just tackling all the, the demands of the, of the day, I mean, absolutely right. I mean, it's it's sometimes it's just like either, for, either I mean, for instance, I personally, I don't like to make two trips with groceries. If I have the bag, I'm taking all bags with me and I'm taking it, you know, taking it to, you know, I'm taking it to the house or taking it back to, I, 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 unless I really have to, I'm not making two trips with the groceries. Comment below. Let me know what you guys, if you guys do that, if you guys really do that, let's that's Costco. If you go to Costco, you have, you definitely have to take multiple trips because you, you they don't have bags, you know, um, or BJ's or whatever. So it's, especially with motherhood, and it's, it's, it's so vital, especially the stress, just stress when it comes to this stuff. When at this point in your life, marriage, kids, there's stress too as well. So it goes back to what we said before, when you're starting your career, you know, strength, handling stress, so help, help relieve stress because you have kids, more responsibilities now, you're definitely going to have a lot of stress, you know? So strength training, like I said, releases those endorphins, make time to do what you need to do for yourself. If, if it's 10 to 20 to 30 minutes, whatever it is, just let it all out. So let's talk about the last one now. So the last one is going to be um, retirement and senior year. So we're talking about maintaining independence and preventing falls. For those are primarily those things. Okay, as we reach our senior year, strength training is crucial for maintaining independence. Strong muscles and bones help prevent falls and improve balance and coordination can make a world of difference. Research shows that strength training can also help slow the progression of osteo, uh, 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 help uh, slow the progression of os- uh, arthritis, reduce pain, jo- joint pain, and help you and keep you mobile and independent, allowing you to enjoy those la- these later years without limitations. Now, okay, so which stage resonates with you? Okay, do you see benefits in, in more in in more than just one stage of when it comes to strength training, do you see the benefits? You know, just comment below and let me know. And let me know. And also comment below, like I said, if you if you make more than one trips when it comes to groceries, you know, all right. If, if strength training is is already so, if strength training is already part of your life, what positive changes have you noticed? So to sum it up, strength training isn't just about lifting weights. It's the way you protect and empower and empower ourselves. Okay, throughout every stage of life, it builds strong bones in our teens, boosts energy in our in our young adulthood and supports our health as we balance work and family and helps us stay mobile and independent in our later years. This is exactly why I created this group to educate women about their health, fitness, and potential. Breaking stereotypes that say muscle and weights are just for men. We now know that strength training isn't a luxury for women. It's essential and and essential for a strong, healthy life. Okay, absolutely right. Okay, so comment below, you know, let me know what you guys think. I mean, are you guys working? Are you guys following a regular strength training? program or not okay like i said it's very very important i have some questions back in my day strength training would stay short or it messed up and messed with the muscles in their body in a negative way if you start you lifting at a young age girls i think that they should they should focus on in the young age work on coordination i just think that they should know how to use their body the right way that's why taekwondo is important um at this age swimming is important just know how to use their body okay so at a young age body weight stuff is important from like maybe three and up to like maybe i'll probably say eight or nine um maybe honestly even early and later than that just, just to see that that's when it should be starting but then definitely by if you want to get them involved in like weight training i'll say more like 12 and up because there's not really, there's no definite research I have seen that says they can't 
I mean, I just, I personally wouldn't put them like five years old, six years old, seven. I wouldn't start have getting them weights because it can be used their body, right? We need, we now, we know now the training isn't a luxury for women. It's essential for a strong and healthy life. Make sure that every phase of our lives, we, you know, do it, you know, we making sure we're working out for, um, in our teen, teen years to help boot, help, help with strong bones, boost energy for a young, for a young adulthood. Okay. Support our health as we balance work and life, work and family life, I should say, and also help us stay mobile and independent in our later years when we decide to retire and so on and so forth. Okay. So I just think, like I said, overall, we just have to get in the regiment. And even if you are strength training, just make sure you're complementing that or accompanying that with a good amount, good amount of protein. Okay. You can't build muscle without protein. You can't build muscle without, th- you can't build muscle without protein or sleep. Okay. So make sure you're, you're working out, you're eating properly and getting your rest. All right. Thank you all so much for joining me. Next time we'll discuss, you know, the following week, staying fit and healthy through the holiday season. Yes, it's about that time where we spend a lot of money and end up broke by the time the New Year's hits. Okay, so don't forget to watch the replay if you missed anything and tag a friend who might need this information. Okay, see you next time. Thank you so, so much, ladies, for joining me and have a fantastic evening, day, or whenever you decide to watch this. All right, take it easy. Are you ready to transform your health and wellness journey? At Kadapa Strength, I'm committed to helping you achieve your goals through my three pillars for results. First, I educate, equipping you with essential knowledge to understand your body and its needs. Then I execute a tailored plan, ensuring every step is personalized to your unique lifestyle. Finally, I encourage, providing accountability and support every step of the way. Get ready to unlock your full potential and thrive in every aspect of your life. Visit me today and let's embark on this journey together. Check me out at Kandapa Strength.